everybody, this is Stella filling in for Gusto, and I have a review for you today. And this is Gusto, and I am on location at Stella's house for her birthday. And for Stella's birthday, I told her that we would make a video together. Stella is my number one fan, and my niece. And this is Rainbow Dash, I love him, that Gusto gave me for my birthday, and his name is, her name is Rainbow Dash. So the ration that we're going to be reviewing today is... Menu 18, beef ravioli, and meat sauce. So we'll take a look at this MRE, and this is an Ameriqual MRE, packaged in 2013, and the date code is 3231, or the 231st day of 2013. So Stella, let's go ahead and open this up. There you go. Can you help me pull it out? Perfect. Oh. Typical for AmeriQual, this has an inner bag packaged inside the outer bag to keep all the contents together. So let's go ahead and open that up. And we'll explore the contents. Here's the main entree. This is... Beef ravioli with meat sauce. Next we have corn nuggets. <laughs> wheat snack bread. And this is the white wheat snack bread. Next we have cheese spread, and this is the plain cheese spread. Next we have beverage base powder, tropical punch. We have cranberries, osmotic. Here's the accessory pouch. This ration also comes with a package of pepper sauce. Of course a flameless ration heater. A hot beverage bag. And the trusty MRE spoon. For the accessory pouch, the contents are coffee instant type 3, non-dairy creamer, Splenda, salt, a moist towelette, gum. Those are chocolates. And Stella, what's this? Toilet paper. First things first, let's get the main entree heated up in the flameless ration heater. There's the main entree. Again, it's beef ravioli. It has a production date code of 3165, the 165th day of 2013. Open it up. Get the main entree inside. And Stella, can you help me pour just a little bit of water in here? Yeah, sure. Not too much and pour it kind of slow, I'll tell you when. Just right in there. There you go. Perfect. Good. Okay. You hear it making that noise? It's gonna start heating up. I'm gonna lay it flat. It? I'm gonna lay it flat. Hear it? Sounds like the water's starting to bubble when it's heating up. Perfect. I'll put it all in the box. We'll have to find an or something to prop this up against. What do you want to use, Stella? Babu! Okay, put her down on the table. We gotta put her right here. And we'll let that heat up for about 10 minutes. Stella, what else did Gusto give you for your birthday? My own tray! Very good. Let's get the rest of the food out on the tray. Let's start with the wheat snack bread. So here's the wheat snack bread. Let's go ahead and open that up. And Stella, you can take that out and put it on the tray. And put it Here's out on the, the tray. Here's the wheat bread. Good. <laughs> Next, let's do the corn nuggets. Stella, can you pour these on there? Yes, I can. Let's pour them right there. Oh, looks like I have something too. Yep. Smells like nuggets. That's why they're called corn nuggets. Next, let's put the cranberries on there. Can I put them on? There's the cranberries. These are just typical dried cranberries. Stella, can you put them right there? Perfect. Next we have cheese spread, and we get that mixed up. Put some on the bread. And that's right, we'll put some on the bread. 
And can I eat it? Yes, you can in just a minute. <laughs> Okay, next we'll make the beverage base powder tropical punch. Can and I for eat that, that, and for that I'm going to use the hot beverage bag. <laughs> First, we'll put the powder in the bag. This calls for 12 ounces of water, so it's up to this line. Stella, can you give me some water there? And I'll tell, tell you me when. when. To stop. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Perfect. There we go. Let's get as much air out of there as possible and get it sealed up so it doesn't leak. Now, Stella, can you help me shake this? Good. Okay. Now, let's put it in the glass. Can I... Uh oh, it didn't it didn't mix all the way up, so we're gonna have to stir it, Stella. Okay. So I can stir it. Stir. Okay. Now Stella, can you stir that for me a little bit? Put the spoon in there and give it a stir. Perfect. Alright. And let's go ahead and make the coffee. You can drink all of that, because I'm not. <laughs> okay, you don't like coffee, Stella? No! Okay. I have a sip of coffee and I hate it. There's the coffee. How does that smell? It doesn't have any mold in it. That's Guess good. so. <laughs> it doesn't have any mold in it, like the red taster's choice. There's the creamer and the Splenda. Alright, let's... Put some hot water in there, Stella. Give it a stir. Okay, can I stir it? Yep. Perfect. Good job. That was a good stir. So fast. That's right. <laughs> Let's check on our main non-tray. Stella, that's a good idea. Does it feel hot? Put your hands on there. Does it feel hot? Yes, it feels pretty hot. I think we should get it out. I think that's a good idea. Go ahead and take it out of the FRH. It's a good thing about the fresh MREs is the ration heaters work really well. This is nice and hot. Is that nice hot still? Yes, it is. Good. And it almost burned me, but I'm okay. Let's continue. Good. Open up the pouch. And there's what you get. You see the raviolis in there and the beef sauce? Stella has a smell. Oh. Uh, that's good. Let's put it on the plate. All right, there you go. Let's get some close-ups. All right, so as you can see, there's the raviolis. They're very small, kind of like mini raviolis like you'd see in a Chef Boy or Decan or something like that. And then the meat sauce is kind of a red sauce with some meat chunks. Smells pretty good. Very typical for canned ravioli. Now let's take a trip around the tray. Good idea. Do you want to start with the main entree? Yes. I'm going to take a bite. And then I am. All right, so there's the ravioli. You can see the, the pasta and then the meat sauce right there. And it tastes pretty typical of a canned ravioli. The pasta is pretty soft. As far as any texture to the filling, I can't really distinguish. But the texture of the sauce, you can, you can pick out the beef chunks in there. It's pretty tasty. Stella, you want to give it a try? Yeah. Give it a try. It's good. Is that yummy? There's some little chunks in there with it. feel like meat, but it's okay. Good. Do you want to try the bread next? Yeah. Okay. Let's try some bread by itself first. Okay. Good. 
It's really soft. Mm -hmm. It's like wheat bread. It's pretty dry, isn't it? Kind of dry and doughy. Mm -hmm. Doesn't taste like much, does it? Okay, why don't you try some with the cheese? How's the cheese? Good. Creamy. I don't really like it because I guess so, um, I think you put too much cheese. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, like I, there was a lot of cheese on there. Can you put like a little bit? You want to try this? just a little bit? Okay. Here, try this one. Yummier. Was that bite better? Yes, it was better. Yeah, Doesn't it's taste... hard to taste the bread when you yeah. taste the cheese with yeah. it. Okay, how about the corn nuggets? You want to try a corn nugget? Yep. Grab some corn I'm nuggets. Get some. Are those yummy? You like the corn nuggets? Yep. They taste really hard. They're a little bit salty too. Yeah, but they're they're yummy, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. They taste like toasted corn. Yep. That's good. How yeah. about the cranberries? Wanna try the cranberries? Yes, we mate. Try the, some cranberries. Mmm, those are yummy. Yep. Yep. They're kind of sweet. They taste like craisins, don't they? Yep. Mm-hmm. Those are You're good. Literally raisins covered in jelly or something. <laughs> kind of like that. How about the beverages? You want to try the beverages? Yes. Okay. Let's try the fruit punch. Okay. Let me let me try it first. Mmm. Tastes good. I can't really taste the flavor. It's kind of like Kool-Aid, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of like fruity Kool-Aid. Yep. It's pretty good, isn't it? Now, yet yeah, see. You want me to try Uncle the coffee? Yes, so try the coffee. There's the coffee. I'm just gonna try a tiny bit. Good. You, is it good? <laughs> you like coffee? <laughs> a little bit. I can't really taste it because I only tasted a little bit. But when I'm a grown up. When you're a grown-up, you'll like it? Yeah, I think that's good. All right. So this also comes with pepper sauce. Now Stella wants to eat some more of this, so Gusto will try this with a little bit of pepper sauce on it. And I haven't seen this brand before. It usually came with Tabasco. This looks more just like Louisiana hot sauce. Put a little bit on there. It actually heats it up quite nicely. That's pretty tasty. I'm going to cut one of these open just so you can see the filling. See the, yeah. So there, there's the uh, beef filling of the ravioli. And Stella, I have an idea. What if we put some cheese sauce on the ravioli? Maybe that would make it yummy too. You want to try that? Wow. We'll mix it up. Make you try some ravioli with cheese. Is that better? Is that better with cheese? That's good. Okay. Here's so a cheesy bite. All right. So this has been Stella's first review of an MRE, and this was for Stella's birthday. And was this fun, Stella? Did you enjoy it? I yes. hope everybody. I hope everybody liked meeting Stella. Stella is my number one fan, and Stella has an announcement to make for the RC Gusto channel. Congratulations, Uncle Gesto, from 6,000 subscribers. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. And sincerely, thank you to all of my viewers and subscribers and to all of the reviewers in the community. Thank you very, very much for all of your continuing support. So until next time, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. <laughs>